It is a celebration of food, family, and tradition in Newport News. The Greek Festival is back this weekend. This segment is sponsored by Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church. Greg Bicaveras is the festival marketing liaison, and Chris Sambas is the festival's leadership team. And they join us now with more on what we can expect. Guys, welcome back to HRS. Good to see you. Thanks for having us. Okay, so folks probably already know about it, but just in case, tell us a little bit about the festival uh, and its long history. All right, this is our indoor event coming up in the fall. It's indoors only. It's coming up October 24th through the 26th. People like Chris and my parents have been part of it for decades, and it's a great community-oriented event with volunteers, and it's a lot of good food and a lot of fun. Yeah, let's talk about the food. You brought some. We know whenever you're coming to HRS, we mm -hmm. get really excited because we know we're getting the Greek treats. Uh, tell us about the food, the, the beverages, desserts, I mean, whole meals, too. Our, our signature dish, actually, is the lamb shank. Uh, it's a savory dish. It's one of our best sellers. Mm -hmm. uh, and pasticcio, traditional dishes, pasticcio, which is the uh, layered uh, uh, beef. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, along with the macaroni and the bechamel sauce on top. Mm -hmm. And then uh, moussaka, which is the same dish with uh, eggplant and whatnot. We have Grecian chicken, half Grecian chicken. Uh, and we have tiropida, spanakopita, of course. We have the tomates, which is the stuffed grape leaves. Uh, and a variety of, course, of sweets. Desserts and, too, yeah. and a variety of sweets, yes. So, you know, uh, you need to come hungry and be ready to be entertained, too. Talk about the entertainment that's coming uh, this year. We're going to have the Greek dancers. They're really a lot of fun for the entire community to see young guys and girls just putting their hearts out to entertain, you know, in Greek style, kind of yeah. bringing, uh, celebrate a little bit of Greece on the peninsula. What does it mean uh, to be able to share your culture with the community and that for decades people have been coming out and, and getting excited about this? Well, we've been doing this now for what, 57 years, I believe, started in 1967, our first one. We started doing the indoor events. Usually the spring event is the bigger event. We do it outside. Uh, but the, the in, indoor event on a smaller scale, we don't do it for the Greek community per se. We do it for the community at large mm -hmm. to showcase our, our culture, our cuisine, uh, our entertainment. And, and people are looking for it time yeah. and again. People they, get excited yes, about they it. Do. They know when it's coming. Yes, the calendar they, yes, is marked. They do. <laughs> uh, speaking of that food, you've got lots of different options. People can dine in. There's grab-and-go meals. Uh, people can order online, too. So how does that all work? Yeah, they can dine in. Of course, we encourage people to dine in. This is the signature event of the peninsula. So if you want to get good Greek food, you need to come to the Hellenic Center. But online ordering is really good. People are on the go. People are busy, military, whatever, locals, tourists. They all like it. But they can go to Newport newsgreekfestival.org and order online and the food will be ready when you get there. All right, uh, so we've got the food, we've got the entertainment. The, there's so much more going on at the festival. What else can people expect as far as like vendors and things go? Uh, we have a limited number of vendors this year. I think anywhere between eight and uh, ten vendors because mm -hmm. of the availability of spaces. We are indoors. But it's a very festive environment when you have six, seven hundred people under the one, one roof, you know. <laughs> Uh, with the music going on. We have a DJ, of course, mm -hmm. along with the, the youngsters dancing uh, uh, periodically. So everybody gets in the mood with the OPA mood, if you wish. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, real quick logistics that you wanted to get in about parking and things? Yeah, free admission, free parking. There's something for everyone there. And then really just uh, we hope to see everybody there. All right, well, let's get them the details so they can head out and see you guys. Thanks so much for joining us on the Hip Show. Thank you for having us. This segment is sponsored by Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church. Now, this is happening at the Hellenic Center, 60 Traverse Road in Newport News. That's off exit 258B off I-64. The three-day event kicks off this Thursday, run through Saturday. Admission and parking are free. For more information,